Hi there. This video is how to remove a Volkswagen Up gearbox. You can hear here this car is knocking in reverse. So in the next video you will see that I will strip the gearbox apart and do the repair for this vehicle as well. So to start with we're going to remove the pendulum bolt on the bottom of the gearbox. It's three 16mm bolts. We'll just undo those and then slide it out. And then just slide it out. And we're going to drain the gearbox from the oil. I'm draining the oil because I'm rebuilding the gearbox and I want to see what the oil looks like. At this point, I didn't know what was actually wrong with the gearbox. So all I've done here is I've cut open a five litre add blue bottle just to drain the oil in. It has been cleaned out beforehand. And that's enough of the oil. So we're just going to pop that back in and just do it up. And then we're just going to give a little squirt of a brake cleaner to stop any oil dripping on my lovely hat. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take the battery off the vehicle. So I'm just loosening the terminals there, starting with the live and then going back onto the earth there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to pop this plastic cover off the top. So this separates into two parts. So we're going to undo the 10 mil nut there and we're just going to take that off. separate the fuse box from the top of the battery terminal and off the back of the top of the battery. And as you can see there we're removing the earth first before we remove the live. And there's a 13mm bolt there, that's just the clamp for the battery that holds the battery in place. And with that removed, we can just slide the battery back and up and out. And then there's four 10mm bolts that hold the battery tray in place. So we're just going to loosen those off to start with. So now we're going to remove the engine ECU and as you can see there they're held in by shear bolts. So I've got a hot air gun there and I've just got it on the lowest setting that you probably can't even see on the camera. And I'm just going to heat the bolt up slowly. On these there is some Loctite that holds the bolt in place. So just getting them hot just starts to dissolve or melt the, the Loctite and it makes them a lot easier to remove. So we're just going to leave that on there for a little while just to heat it up. We've got it on a very low setting there. And then once we've done it enough, we should just be able to undo it with our pliers there. Obviously those bolts will need replacing when we mold it back together. So once we've done that side, 
just do the exact same to the other side and then that will pull away and put down the back. And then to remove the battery tray, you can see there I'm just adjusting the aircon pipes and putting that little clamp out of the way. And then we'll lift the battery tray up and out of the engine bay. So now you can see here I've got the engine ECU and that's the back of the clamp that was covering the plugs and that's what was actually stopping us undoing the plugs. So now we can remove that and we can disconnect the engine ECU itself. And with that removed, we can just tuck the plugs out of the way. So next we're just going to pop the little protective cap off the starter motor live. It's a 13mm nut. We're just going to undo that. Then we're going to remove the nut and we're going to pop the, the entire cable and the battery clamp off. So next we're working on the gear linkage here, so there's two cables that come in through from the body and they connect onto that plastic bracket there, they're held on by two 13 more bolts on the side that you can see and then there's one more 13 more bolt at the back that you can't actually see in this camera shot but you should be able to see from the position of my hands where that rear bolt is. So with the three bolts removed, we can now pop off the first of the gear linkage. This is just done by levering it off with a screwdriver. And then the second linkage, you can't actually see, it's under the aircon pipes and the um, cooling hoses there. But there's a, a metal clip that slides over the top and keeps the cable in place. It can be quite fiddly to get to on these vehicles and that's the clip there. You can see that it lifts up in the center and then just slides off and that's what holds the cable in place. So with that removed, we can actually move the whole of the gear linkage, gear selector cables, just to the back and we can push them out of the way. So now we're taking off a little white plastic clip and this holds in the next part of the gear selector mechanism. You can see there there's a plastic plate that I'm taking out that the gear cable is actually connected to in the first place. And then we're going to undo the 13mm nut that holds the balance weight on top of the gear selector there. And then with a little bit of effort that will just slide off and out of the way. So next we're going to take the starter motor off and there's two 16mm bolts to hold this in place. So all I'm doing here is you can see that the gears, gear selector cables kept falling in my way. So I'm just going to tie them up with a cable tie against the brake pipes there. And then I'm going to remove the second 16mm bolt from the start motor.
And then with that 16 mil bolt out, we've got the removal of the starts motor and my milky arms. So now the two 13 mil bolts you can see there, that's actually the slave cylinder for the um, clutch. So we're just going to undo the two 13 mil bolts for that. So with the two bolts out, we can move the slave cylinder back out the way and then just tuck it under the cable there for the battery and then that's again out of our way. So now we're going to move on to the bolts for the gearbox bell housing. There's an 18 mil bolt that you just saw me crack off there. So we're just going to undo that. If I didn't say all of these bolts are anti-clockwise. And with that bolt removed, we can then move on to the wheel. So we need to take both the front wheels off, but I'm only gonna show you how to take off the one wheel. So with the wheel off, we have access to the three bolts that hold on the bottom swivel joint bottom ball joint and there's just the three 16 mm nuts there that we're just going to ungun and then we're going to take off the anti-roll bar drop link there so we're just going to clean off any dirt or rust or corrosion that's on the thread give it a little bit of lube and then ungun it and then drop that out of the way so now we can just relieve the tension on the dry shaft there and then with the lever bar we can just slide it out the side of the gearbox they can be quite hard to get out so you might require a little tap to actually release it from the gearbox itself and then we're just going to swing it out of the way and then same again for the other side with the wheel removed we're just going to undo the three nuts for the lower ball joint and release the tension on the drive shaft and then with the lever bar and a slight tap from a hammer we're just going to pop the joint out the back of the gearbox and then we're just going to move that out of the way. That nut there on the back there, that 18mm nut, I didn't film it, but we need to remove that bolt now as well. And then from the other side, we're going to remove the remainder of the bolt from the bell housing. So of the two bolts left there on the bell housing, we're just going to undo this one, and with this one out, the bolt to the right should be the last remaining bolt on the bell housing, and that's the one we're going to undo when we drop the box out. So this is a view from the top of the engine again. As you can see there in the picture on the top right hand corner, I've placed an engine brace on the top of the vehicle, and that's just to take the weight of the engine and gearbox as we undo the 18mm bolt there for the gearbox. And then we're just going to lower the gearbox ever so slightly. So we want to lower it enough just to clear the side of the vehicle, but not low enough that it hits the, the subframe underneath. We're going to remove the wheel arch liner. My camera actually died here, so I didn't get the footage of me removing the liner. But you just undo all the T25 bolts, and that will drop out. And as you can see here, this is the side of the gearbox. There's three 16mm bolts that hold in the gearbox mount there. And with those three removed, we now have the clearance to just drop the gearbox out. So you can see now where we lowered the gearbox, we clear this side of the vehicle. And with that remaining 16mm bolt we left in earlier, we can just remove that. 
and then to remove the gearbox you want to push the diff end of the box up and then it will drop out of the vehicle. And that's it, we're done. The top left link will take you to the stripping and repair of the gearbox. And thanks for watching.